Hi, thanks for joining my lesson. I'm going to do another BB King one today. I'm going to be looking at one of these live versions of Every Day I Had the Blues. So uh, come in for a close up and uh, I'll show you how to play it. Thanks. So, BB King, Every Day I Had the Blues. Um, hopefully, you don't have the blues right now in these crazy times, but if you do, this is a song for you. Um, the version we're doing is the live version from Live in Cook County Jail, 1971 album, uh, particularly fast version, which makes it more of a challenge. Uh, it's a B flat blues, B, B flat major. So one chord is going to be a B flat seven, your four chord is going to be a E flat nine or seven, and your five chord is going to be an F seven or F nine, or any dominant chord you like. Um, normal structure, 12 bars, so four of the one, two of the four, two of the one, one of the five, one of the four, one of the one, one of the five. The solo is going to cover two choruses, so 24 bars, that repetition twice. Yeah, that's about it. Um, takes place almost entirely around a BB box, kind of mixed in with a bit of the minor pentatonic third position, B flat. For those of you who don't know what the BB box is, just think of it as the high end of the second position minor pentatonic um, B flat in this case just on the G B and the E strings and slide it all up two frets so you kind of got this this box here yeah that's it that's enough of the theory I'll tell you the notes anyway um, I'll put a backing track up it's gonna be a very basic one but it'll be the same tempo as this version, so you can practice over it. Uh, so yeah, let's get stuck in. So we're going to start off with this sort of classic BB King move of sliding up into the BB box. So we're going to slide up anywhere we like on the G string up to the 12th fret. And we're then going to pick the root note, which in this case is 11th fret on the B string. And try your best BB King impersonation on the vibrato, that hummingbird thing, which is obviously impossible to get as good as him, but give it your best shot. Stop it from sounding and then play it again. And then that first lick's going to finish by bending up the 13th fret on the B string a tone and then mute. Lick two is going to sound like this. Which is quite tricky because you've got a couple of that type of thing in there. But essentially it's going to be So what we did there, we bend up, bend and then mute the uh, 13th fret on the E string and then play it again unbent with this little move. So that's 13, 11 on the E and then 14, 11 on the B. And then this tricky bit where we bend the 13 on the B And this time we want to hear the release. Pull off to the 11. Play the 12 on the G. And then go back to that root note, the 11th on the B, and pick it twice. Bearing in mind this is very fast, so that's easier said than done. back to the 12 on the G, back to the 11 on the B. And finish that lick with that move, which is 13 on the E, and then 13 on the B. Bend and mute. So putting all that together so far, we've got And then to 
finish off the first half of the solo, we're going to go... So what we did there, we played 11 again on the B. Play 14 this time on the B and bend it up a step. And then we're going to bend half a step, the 13 on the B. And because you've just bent with your ring finger there, you can come down and do the 13 with your ring finger, or you can do more BB style and bend it with the middle finger. So after you've bent that twice on the 13, we're going to play 11 on the B again. And then finish with that, which is 12 on the G, 11 on the B, 13 on the B. So hold of the first half of the solo again. faster uh, that was slower for your benefit now second half second half kicks in um, at the 12th bar of the first half so it's a little lead up before you get into the second half of the uh, 24 bars so it's going to start off like this So what we're doing there, we've got three bends on the 13 of the E. Pause and then bend it again. And then play it again unbent. So that's five picks on that 13. And then finish that with a bend on the 13 of the B string this time. And then pick the 11 twice on the B string. And then very quickly it follows into this next lick. So put that all together, we've got... What we did there is we bend up like a half step on the 13 of the B. And then we play 11 on the E. Pick it once, and then we pick it again bend up and this is a first finger bend on it on a high E string so that's quite tricky and then play it again a third time so 11 there 14 on the B 11 on the B 12 on the G 11 on the B again so that whole lick Put that together with the first one. And then to finish that little sequence, we've got... So bend and release the 13 on a B. And then you feel like you want to pull off to the 11th, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go... We're going to pick 12 twice on the G. Then we're going to pick 11 on the B. Thirteen on the B, 11 again on the B. And then 13 on the E. Bend up a step on the 13 of the B finish with 11 on the B, 12 on the G, so let's put all that together. And that uh, leads us into our final lick, which is going to be... doing there we're bending 13 on the E 
And then unlike the first half of the, the end of the first half of the solo, where we then play it again unbent, we're just going to go straight to the 11, so... So 11, 14, 11 on the B. And then this little cool move to finish where we come up again into a note from the third position minor pentatonic, we go... So that's 12, 13 on the G, 11 on the B, 13 on the E, back to 11 on the B, and then to finish, so pick the 13 on the B, and then pick it again and bend, mute. That's it, that's the whole solo. Very quick. Um, yeah, the, the key to this one and, and the genius of BB King is is to still put space in between the licks and and the dynamics, despite being so fast. And his no, his note choice is is sublime. Um, just really brilliant, natural mixing of the, of the major and minor. So yeah, good luck. It took me a while to learn it. Um, I'm going to play it once through quite slowly. Just put it all in context. So. There you go. Um, like I said, there'll be a backing track if you want to practice over that. And uh, good luck. Hopefully that's helped. And uh, I'll see you for another. Cheers. <laughs>